Hey, it's Luke. All right, I just want to do a quick video because um, I just discovered this sort of by <laughs> by mistake, and um, it's a fantastic little trick. Um, so, if you are using Mimic and you've got it on this, uh, this slice mode, I notice there's a button here called Reverse, which does exactly what what we think, right? You turn it on, and all of these slices are backwards. But then I thought. Um, what if I automated this? So I I took this and you right click on it, go to edit uh, the override mapping, and then just choose anything, either a key, a note on your keyboard. I'm gonna do uh, C4 here. Um, so basically you can you can tell it's it's picking up the signal. C4 keyboard. So once you hit okay, Every time I press it, you can tell that it goes it goes on. I'm pressing it a bunch of times. It, it flashes on and off. But this is what you can do. You can um, play around with the slices. And, and as soon as you hit it, it starts going backwards. But it starts from wherever it is. So So you can come up with some fantastic sounds with this. <laughs> it's so awesome. I can't remember. I, I actually haven't played around with Mimic that much. I wasn't thinking it would be um, that useful because I'm using mostly uh, Ableton and it's got the, the, oh, hold on. Let me just stop that. Um, the I, I use Simpler a lot in there for the slicing, but, uh, and I've never tried to do this in Ableton, but um, this is fantastic that I can, <laughs> I can do that in here. So. Definitely gonna be playing around. It, it's it's awesome on these longer on these longer notes. And I'm trying to see what it does if I hit it a bunch of times. Well, you can actually go back and forth and it's a little choppy when you're hitting it a bunch of times, but anyways, um and I'm sure I can play around with these other settings and do some stuff, but uh there's a good trick for you. Hopefully it can be useful for you, and uh, we'll see you next time.